Time now for what are the odds as we shift to baseball and take a look at the odds for the National League East. The 20 and 10 Mets check in as the favorite at minus 195. So you need to bet 195 to win $100 on the Amazons. The defending champion Braves are next at plus 250. We're back with Sal and JJ and Sal which team in the division is the biggest threat in your eyes to the Mets or is it the Amazons division to lose. I think it's the Mets division to lose. I don't look at and look you have to pay respect to the Braves until the Mets actually beat the Braves at the one team they haven't beaten in the series that they've played so far this year reigning NL champs four times over World Series champs. But I don't think they're as good as the Mets this particular year. And if the Mets don't beat themselves, J.J., it's their division to lose right now. They are starting to pull away in the NL East. The other team's got a lot of work to do. Yeah, I look at Atlanta as maybe their toughest competition. But ultimately, it comes down to, to me, if the Mets play their game, they will not be caught in the National League East. I totally get that. The Mets should be favored. I mean, the way they've played over the first month plus kind of speaks for itself. But I got to pay homage and I got to pay respect to the team that has won the division year after year after year and that's the Atlanta Braves and look do I think the Mets are going to win this division when it's all said and done yes they do I think they're going to upgrade the team in July I think Scherzer being there I think Buck being there Bassett the list goes on and on but this is an Atlanta team that has had the Mets number and in big games they have owned the Mets I need to see the Mets not in April not in May in big games in July and August slay the beast so that way they win this division it's amazing how much more confident everyone is about about this Mets team with Buck Showalter as the manager and obviously it's a better roster than it has been the last few years but Sal you say beat themselves what's your biggest concern pitchers coming back to earth or injuries um injury is definitely a part of it I I think the starters will be okay I'm worried about the bullpen and a little bit with the lineup now the Mets have the resources to go out there and add and we expect that they would at the trade deadline to fortify that lineup to fortify the bullpen I don't see those Scherzer coming down I don't see Bassett coming down I think Carrasco is what he is Tyler McGill I like him maybe they get to ground back maybe they don't but I think the starters will be fine I worry a little bit about the lineup coming back down to earth and then that bullpen those would be the two main things but I still think they'll be good enough to win that division. I think this lineup needs more pop. The bullpen is the obvious concern. They need a reliever or two. But you look up and down that lineup for as good a job as the Mets are doing. They get on base. They're getting a big hit. Alonso is really the only big bopper in that lineup. You need a little bit more punch. I think that's something we're talking about in July. Well, it should be a deep lineup uh, with the guys they went out and got. All right, the Mets head to Washington to take on the Nats, who, in case you didn't check the graphic, plus 40,000. Oh, no, you're going to pass on that, JJ? All right, JJ, Sal, thanks.